Welcome back to Football Daily, where today we're running through 10 players who could be bought on a cheap in January if their measly release clauses are met. Let's get on with it. 10. Sami Khedira Sami Khedira has had a glittering career, with league titles in three countries, a Champions League and of course a World Cup to his name. Since being bought on a free from Real Madrid in June 2015, aged 28, Khedira has made 111 appearances for the old lady, scoring 20 and assisting 13 in the process. He's been a crucial part of a side that's won three consecutive doubles and reached the Champions League final only to be beaten 4-1 by his previous employers. Despite having arguably his best season last year, Kadir has seen his game time drastically reduced to just 355 minutes this campaign, with Allegri preferring a midfield free of Pjanic, Bentinker and Matuidi. With his contract expiring next June, Kadir has signed an extension until 2021 in September, but there is no chance that the 77 cap German will still be around then. Especially considering his increasingly fragile body, which has seen him miss 16 games since the start of last season. With a 25 million euro release clause inserted in his new contract, don't bet against Juventus turning a hefty profit on an aging player who has only cost a combined £16.2 million in transfers in his entire career. 9. Kostas Manolas Greek central defender Kostas Manolas began the 17-18 season weighing up a possible move to Zenit St. Petersburg. He had played regularly throughout the previous campaign, making 45 appearances in all, but this was a potentially lucrative move and it would result in a reunion with his close friend and former Roma teammate Leandro Paredes. Thank goodness he stayed. Monolas was in a Roma side that finished third, conceding just 28 goals in 38 games and reached their first Champions League semi-final since 1984. He recovered from conceding an unfortunate own goal in the first leg quarter-final against Barcelona to scoring a brilliant headed winner in their miraculous comeback from 4-1 down six days later. Monolas is a tough, uncompromising and reliable central defender who has played at least 40 games for Roma since his 50 million euro switch from Olympiacos in 2014. In this day and age when defenders are now regularly going for upwards of £50 million, it beggars belief that the 27-year-old could be snapped up for as little as his £33 million release clause. Top clubs, take note. 8. Ever Benega After spending the 16-17 season at Inter Milan, where he was involved in a league goal every 129 minutes, Ever Benega returned to Sevilla in June 2017 and helped them to a 7th place finish and their first ever Champions League quarterfinal. This season, Los Rojo Blancos and their all-action midfielder have started the season with a bang. They are just a point behind leaders Barcelona at the time of writing and the form of Benega has been a key part of that. Playing alongside fellow Argentine Franco Vasquez in central midfield, Benega has scored 5 and assisted 3 in 15 games. Only seven La Liga players have made more tackles per game than his three and only eight have provided more than his 2.1 key passes per game. His 20 million euro release course seems an absolute bargain for any club wanting two to three years of service out of the evergreen all-action midfielder. 7. Ezequiel Barco Argentina is a world ordered production line of attacking talent and the latest great hope of the two-time World Cup champions is 19-year-old attacking midfielder Ezequiel Barco. The eight-capped under-20 international began his career with Independiente and was promoted to the first first team squad by Los Diablo Rojo manager Gabriel Melito in July 2016. Within 18 months, he had scored 5 goals in 38 games, scored in a Copa Sudamericana final and a missed interest from Atletico Madrid, signed for MLS side Atlanta United in January for $50 million. Under the tutelage of former Barcelona manager Tata Martino, Barco has shone with a goal involvement every 0.2 games and two key passes per game, the same as Wayne Rooney in his debut MLS season. This impressive start for Barco, coupled with an Italian passport, which means he wouldn't have to register as a non-EU player, means it's highly likely he will join a European club before too long. Throw in a paltry 10.2 million release clause and it seems almost inevitable. 6. Borja Iglesias Borja Iglesias, who has scored seven La Liga goals so far in 18-19, just two behind leader Lionel Messi, had surprisingly only ever played one Spanish top-flight game prior to the season. The 25-year-old came through the academy at Celta Vigo and between 2013 and 2017 scored a massive 75 goals in 146 games for their B-side in the Segunda division. But a succession of Celtic Coast managers didn't quite think the 6'2 frontman was up to the task of leading the line for the senior side. But after a loan spell at Zaragoza in the Segunda division, last year, in which he netted over 20 league goals for the second consecutive year, Espanyol took a punt on him for a 10 million euro fee. Espanyol needed this to come off. After all, the talisman Gerard Moreno, scorer of 44% of their league goals in 17-18, had recently left for Villarreal. But so far so good, Borja has been involved in 9 league goals in his opening 11 games and has an XG of 0.5 goals per 90, the same as Chelsea's Avara Morata.
matter. With Spurs rumoured to be interested and his current release clause set at an affordable 28 million euros, Espanyol might have to offer him a new contract just five months on from signing him. 5. Toby Adeverod. After a topsy-turvy 17-18 season, in which he fell out with manager Mauricio Pochettino, angled for a move and then lost his place to new signing Davison Sanchez, 29-year-old Toby Adeverod seems back to his best this campaign. His passing accuracy in the Champions League has upped by a massive 9.6%. He's making 0.5 more tackles plus interceptions per game in the league, and he's completing 7.4 long balls per game, only topped by four centre-backs in Europe. The 84-cap Belgian had a trophy-laden start to his career. He won four consecutive league titles with Ajax and Atletico Madrid and reached the Champions League final with the latter, all before turning 26. But his four-year spell in England with Southampton followed by the Lily Whites may have yielded plenty of individual accolades, including the PFA Team of the Year inclusion and a Spurs Player of the Year award, but no trophies to date. It's perfectly possible that Adovirad wants one final payday and another realistic chance at silverware. If someone was willing to pay the 29-year-old's £25 million release clause, Spurs with Foyth and Sanchez coming through may be willing to let him go. 4. Pablo Fornaus Within three years of joining Malaga from his local club CD Castellon, Pablo Fornals had made his debut for the senior side. It only took 59 appearances for Villarreal to be persuaded to sign him in July 2017. His ambition has been rewarded in spectacular fashion, with Fornals contributing 15 goals in 35 appearances last season, as the yellow submarine finished fifth. In fact, only Messi provided more La Liga goals since the start of 17-18. But this term has been a catastrophe for Javier Cajela's men with just two wins in their opening 12 games, leaving them 16th, just a point above the relegation zone. But Fornals' form cannot be faulted with his 2.5 shots, 1.6 key passes and 1.6 dribbles per 90, the best in the squad at only 22. With the tactical flexibility to play on the left or right or even in the hole, Fornals looks one for the here and now as well as the future. If Villarreal continue to struggle, he can be bought for comparatively cheap, 26.5 million pounds. 3. Pablo Sarabia Since swapping Getafe for Sevilla in June 2016, 26-year-old attacking midfielder Pablo Sarabia has developed into one of Europe's most underrated talents. 35 goal involvements in just 80 La Liga games and an average of 2.4 shots per game this season. Only three midfielders in Spain, Coutinho, Canelas and Fornals are managing to top that figure. And when you marry that with 2.3 key passes per 90, the fourth best in Spain, then you have the complete attacking talent. After graduating from Real Madrid's academy without a senior start to his name, despite scoring 15 goals in 49 appearances for Castilla, he transferred to Getafe for 3 million euros. Real Madrid failed to initiate their buyback clause after two years and may live to regret that mistake. The former Spain under-21 international statistics would fit seamlessly at the Bernabeu. Only Benzema and Bell are averaging more shots per game and only Marcelo creates more chances. But with an 80 million euro release clause, perhaps it isn't too late for Sarabia to shine for a super club. 2. Timo Horn Cologne have had a shocking last 12 months, having finished 5th under Peter Stoga in 1617. The Billy Goats had a disastrous start to the following season, going winless for their first 16 games. They eventually finished bottom, having collected just 22 points, 9 points less than 17th placed Hamburg. In April, with relegation all but confirmed, the fans were worrying about the futures of club captain and German international Jonas Hector and legendary keeper Timo Horn. 25-year-old one-club man Horn has played for the first team since he was 17 and has wrapped up a 172 senior appearances for the club over the last six years. But the fans didn't need to worry. Within three days of each other, first Hector and then Horn confirmed that they would not be triggering their relegation release clauses and would instead be staying at the club, securing near mythical status amongst the Cologne faithful. If Cologne somehow failed to come up this season, surely someone will seize the opportunity of signing Olympic silver medalist for a knockdown price. With a reported release clause of 5.4 million euros, they'd be foolish not to. 1. Luka Jovic You may struggle to believe it, but 20-year-old Luka Jovic, who currently leads the Bundesliga charts with 9 goals in just 6 starts, an average of a goal every 62 minutes, has a £5.3 million release clause. The three-time cap Serbian is actually in the second year of his two-year loan spell at Eintracht Frankfurt from Benfica, for whom he made just two appearances in two years joining from his boyhood club, Red Star Belgrade. Clearly spotting his potential, Benfica managed to tie him down to a contract until 2021 before he left. But he has shown the 36-time Portuguese champions the error of their ways, having netted 20 goals in only 17 starts for the club in all competitions. The highlight of his season so far is without a doubt the five goals he netted against Fortuna Dusseldorf in mid-October, making him the youngest player to achieve that feat and the first since Lewandowski in 2015. With his crazy release clause, Dai Adler will no doubt be regretting not making his loan permanent last season. But Benfica can only look forward to a bumper payday when he inevitably joins a Champions League club. So that was another one of our fantastic tens. I hope you found it as riveting as I did. While you're here, why don't you go check out all our other channels, including FDFC. 
and don't forget to like and subscribe.